Hi, and welcome to another APL Creative Studio workshop. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to design a bookmark using Tinkercad, a free 3D design tool. Here are the steps we are going to take to create our customized bookmark. First, we will design a simple clip bookmark in Tinkercad. Second, we will customize the bookmark by adding letters and a shape to it. Lastly, we will prepare the bookmark for 3D printing using Cura, a free 3D printer software, then print the bookmark out using a 3D printer. Links to the programs will be in the video description. All right, let's begin. Start by creating a new Tinkercad project. If you don't have an account, you can head to tinkercad.com to make a free account. Once you're in the new project, the first thing I'd like to do is to rename the project. We are making a bookmark, so in this case, I'll just name it APL Bookmark. We are going to start by making the body of the bookmark. On the right side is the Shapes menu. Click on the drop-down menu, and under Shape Generators, select All. Select the Meta Capsule shape, which is located on page 7, then place it into the work plane. Tinkercad uses millimeters as the default unit of measurement. In the Metacapsule Properties menu, change the length to 35 and the width to 80. Okay, so looking down at the shape, we see it's now 35 millimeters wide and 80 millimeters tall. Now we are going to make the clip portion of the bookmark. Let's start by creating the hole for the clip. Duplicate the shape by selecting it, then clicking the Duplicate and Repeat button located at the top left of the screen. You can also do this by using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl D. Move the newly created shape to the side. On the Shape menu drop-down, select Basic Shapes, then select the Stripe box. This box is a whole box, which just means it subtracts from the shape. Place the box at the top of the capsule to where the arc meets the straight edge. Resize it so the box covers the whole dome. When we group these shapes together, the box is going to delete or subtract the top of the capsule. Select both the box and the capsule, then click on the group button located on the toolbar. You can also use the keyboard shortcut, Ctrl G. Resize the shape, 27 millimeters wide and 46 millimeters tall. You can change the color of the shape in the Shape Properties menu to make it easier to see. I'm going to change mine to red. Drag the shape into the original capsule. Position it so it matches up with the capsule. You can use the Align tool, which is located on the toolbar, to make sure that the two shapes are perfectly aligned. To make the clip, we will duplicate the red shape. Move the shape to the side. Select the original red shape and change it from a solid to a hole in the Shape Properties menu. Select both shapes, then group them together. The bookmark is slowly coming together. Now, let's add the clip to the bookmark. Click on the duplicated red shape and change the width to 23. Line the shape up with the bookmark. Make sure there is a gap between the bookmark and the clip. We actually want the clip to overlap a bit with the bookmark. Select both shapes and use the Align tool again. Group them together. If you rotate your camera, 
You can see that the bookmark is a little too thick at the moment. Let's change the thickness. Click on the white box on the shape, then type in 0 0.7. Okay, now let's flatten the top of the bookmark because we are going to be adding a shape there. We are going to subtract the rounded top. Place a stripe box at the top of the bookmark. Group the shapes together. Now that the top is gone, I'd like to polish this up a bit. I don't want any sharp corners on the bookmark, so let's make them rounded instead. Place a meta capsule into the work plane, then rotate it 90 degrees. Change the length to 16 and the width to 35. Try to position it so the capsule vertex lines up with the top corner of the bookmark. Change the height of the shape to 0.7 millimeters, the same height as our bookmark. Group both shapes together. Alright, we now have a completed basic clip bookmark. Now here comes the fun part. We are going to customize the bookmark by adding letters and a shape to it. In this step, we are going to customize the bookmark by adding letters and a shape to it. To demonstrate how, I will be adding the letters APL in a cat silhouette to this bookmark. First, let's switch to the orthographic or flat view by clicking the button located to the left. This will make it easier for us to position the text. I'm going to show you two ways to add text. The first method is by using the text shape. In the basic shapes menu, select the text shape then place it into the work plane. Type what you want it to say in the text box located in the Shape Properties menu. You can change the type of font in the Font drop-down. You can resize the shape to fit the bookmark. Change the shape from solid to whole, then group both shapes together. Alright, on to the second method. Okay, so I'm just going to click undo here. Select text and numbers in the shape dropdown. From here, you can choose individual letters you would like to add. Select the letters you'd like to add and place them onto the bookmark. Change the shapes from solid to whole. Group the shapes together. Okay, now let's look at these letters closely. 
You can see that there is a floating piece in the letter A and one in the letter P. When you 3D print this, those floating shapes would be their own piece and would not be a part of the bookmark. To fix this, we can add more shapes to connect the pieces together. Let's do that now. In this step, we are going to find a shape on Pixabay.com to add to the bookmark. Pixabay is a great website for royalty-free images. I suggest looking for silhouettes to simplify things. I'm going to search for a cat silhouette. We will need a SVG file, so filter for vector graphics. Once you have your image, select SVG, then save it. In this step, we are going to import the SVG file into Tinkercad. In Tinkercad, click on the Import button located at the top right. As you can see here, Tinkercad supports STL, OBJ, and SVG files. Click on Choose a File, then select the SVG file you saved in the previous step. There are a few options you can change here, like file scaling, before you import. I'm just going to click Import and resize it in the work plane. OK, I'm going to resize the cat, then place it on top of the bookmark. Make sure the shape is overlapping the bookmark somewhat, so when we group it, the bookmark will become a single piece. Change the thickness of the shape to match the bookmark. In this case, the bookmark is 0.7 millimeters. Group the shapes together. Once that's done, we'll have to export the shape.
Click the export button located at the top right. Make sure the selected shape is checked, then choose STL to save the file in STL format. In this step, we are going to prepare the bookmark for 3D printing. I will be using Cura, a free 3D printer software you can download at ultimaker.com. The full link will be in the description below. All right, so once you have Cura open, it should look something like this. I have the Ultimaker 3 in Cura here because that's what we'll be using. If you have another 3D printer, you can change that in the settings. Okay, let's import the STL file in here by clicking on the file icon located at the top left. Once the model is in, you can select the type of material you're going to use. We are printing with PLA, so that looks good. Next, we are going to look at the print settings. We are going to use the recommended settings for this tutorial, but if you want to go more in depth, you can click on the custom button. There are different profiles here in Cura. It's basically the layer height, so the lower the number, the longer it will take to print. We don't need supports or adhesion for this model, so just uncheck those. I'm going to save my file to a USB stick, so I'm going to plug one of those in now. Once you are happy with the settings, click the slice button located at the bottom. Once the model is sliced, it will tell you how long it's going to take to print. Click on the Save to Removable Drive button. All right, we are now ready to print the bookmark. Awesome. Now that you have the base design, you can modify it and add to it anytime you want. And here's the bookmark. The best part is, you can print it whenever you need a bookmark, and in different colors too. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.